Previously, it's been difficult with Midjourney to create a consistent-looking character across different images, but with version 5.2, it is now a lot easier. In this video, we'll show you step-by-step -step how you can create a consistent character wearing multiple outfits and in multiple scenes. Thank you, ladies, for the introduction. Welcome back to Prompt Profit. Before I show you how to create a consistent-looking image with Midjourney, I'd like to do a quick shout-out to Matt Wolf for showing the method. You can check out his YouTube channel at Mr. E. Flow, where he provides all the latest AI news and information. Okay, on with the show. I'll assume you're already familiar with how Midjourney works. If not, you'll want to check out the link above to our previous video, where we explain how to set up your own Discord server and add the Midjourney button. We first want to create a close-up image of our character's face. We just want the eyes, nose, and mouth, plus maybe a bit of the hair. Ideally, we don't want any of the character's clothing or anything in the background. To do that, I'll enter the prompt Extreme Close-Up of Pretty Woman's Face, looking directly at the camera. Let's see what that gives us. Here are the four images it's generated. Image one looks okay, although I'd prefer not to have hair across the face. Image two again looks okay, but I don't really want the water droplets on the forehead. Three isn't what we're looking for, as only part of the face is showing. Four looks good, but I prefer one as she is more forward facing and the face takes up the entirety of the image. If none of the four are suitable, you can do a reroll. But for the purpose of this video, I'll stick with number one. I'll click on you one to upscale that image. Next step, we want to do a custom zoom on the upscaled image. We no longer want an extreme close up of her face. We can decide what we want her to be wearing. I'll change the prompt to say pretty woman wearing a jacket. I want a vertical image, so I'll specify an aspect ratio of 9 by 16. I do this by typing minus minus AR space 9 colon 16. I'll keep the zoom setting as 2. That looks pretty good. We have four usable images, although the hairstyle does look a bit varied. The top two look pretty similar, but she looks quite a lot blonder in the fourth image. We can achieve a more consistent look by describing the hair color in the prompt. You can upscale each of the images you wish to use, or as we demonstrated in a previous video, if you're on a limited mid-journey subscription, you can preserve some credits by saving the big image and crop each of the individual images separately. You'll get the same resolution for the images whichever way you do it. It's then simply a case of rinse and repeat. We go back to our original upscaled image, and again click on Custom Zoom. We changed the prompt as we did previously, but this time I'll say, Pretty woman with dark hair wearing a plain t-shirt. Hopefully by saying with dark hair, it will give us a more consistent look with that. There we go. Those all look pretty similar. We can then repeat over and over creating as many different outfits as you want. Here she is wearing a dress. You can be as descriptive as you like within this prompt. A key is you're always zooming out from the same consistent looking face. If you want your character in a particular surroundings, you can specify that too. Again, starting from the initial upscaled image, I'll select zoom out and specify her standing in a field. This time, I'll change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 to provide a landscape image. If you want to see more of the surrounding background, you can select one of the four images to upscale. I prefer image 3, so I'll do that one. And I'll select to zoom out times 2. You can continue upscaling and zooming out as far as you like. Image 3 has a weird thing going on around the previous image size, but usually one of the four images will look pretty good. Here I've repeated the process, but this time specified standing on a snowy mountain. Hopefully you found that useful. It's not perfect, as you're stuck with a similar looking pose with all the images, but it's certainly a big step in the right direction with mid-journey. Are you still watching? Wow, you must have enjoyed the video. In that case why not hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel, as we've got loads more planned, and the more people who subscribe the more pocket money I get. You can also check out these other great videos we created.